Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to explore one of Japan's most shocking and horrible crimes which seemed to disseminate the concept that this beautiful country was indeed a safe country, with the case of Jose Manuel Torres Yaque, who murdered a seven-year-old girl on her way home from school. Jose Manuel Torres Yaque was a Japanese Peruvian born in Guadalupe in the north of Peru in La Libertad region, 127 kilometers from Tuigillo City. His maternal grandfather immigrated from Nakagusco in Okawana, and he was one of four children having an elder brother, an elder sister, and a younger sister. His family was poor with his father selling drinks from a stall. Yake's older brother was a good student, but Yake did not perform well at primary school, failing exams and falling two years behind his classmates. His parents divorced and he then moved in with his mother. However, he later reconciled with his father and began working in construction. He eventually moved to Peru's capital, Lima, and got married and had two children, a daughter born in 2003 and a son born in 1997. From a young age, Yake began to show a sexual interest in children in his native Peru and began to commit child sexual abuse. Eventually, the Policia Nacional del Peru caught up with the child sex offender, having committed sexual assault against three underage children and launched a national search for Yake. In Peru, citizens are mandated to give their fingerprints at the age of 18. Fearing his capture in October 2002, he paid 4,000 US dollars to change his name to Juan Carlos Pizarro Yagi. In April 2004, fearing his arrest, he escaped to Japan, telling his wife that he wished to be with his siblings, with his sister living with her husband in Suzuka, in Mie Prefecture. In May 2004, he moved to Kure, where his eldest brother was living, but then returned to Suzuka to live with his sister. In the summer of 2004, he began working for an automobile-related plant as a transporter, but was fired six months later because of a poor attitude at work, including throwing his work gloves at colleagues. Initially living in Mie Prefecture, he moved to Hiroshima in 2005, the capital of Hiroshima Prefecture, when his sister found an apartment for him. In July 2005, he found work at an auto-related plant in Kaita, in eastern Hiroshima. However, he showed a poor attitude at work and was absent one to two days a week on average. Working with other Peruvians, he had minimal social interaction and only talked with one female colleague. Due to his poor work attitude, he was fired. Colleagues became so concerned that they reported him to the Kaita police station, but an officer dismissed their complaint, stating that he is not causing any actions. Moving into Aki Ward in Hiroshima, where a cousin was living, he struggled to find another job and fell behind on his apartment's rent. Airi Kiroshita was born on the 10th of April 1998 in Yatsushiro, the second largest city in Kumamoto Prefecture. She was the daughter of Kenichi Kinoshita, a soldier in the ground self-defense force, and Mairako Kinoshita. The family then moved to Funabashi City in Chiba Prefecture until Kinoshita had completed the first semester of her first year of school before the family moved to Hiroshima. In the summer of 2005, she began attending elementary school in Aki Ward in Hiroshima City. On Tuesday, the 22nd of November 2005, seven-year-old Kinoshita left school at around lunchtime, heading for home. However, she never made it home, and just 90 minutes later, between 1pm and 2pm, she was murdered. She was walking past Yake's apartment building, and he often sat outside his apartment building. Upon seeing Kinoshita, Yake stated, I felt my daughter might look like this if she carried a satchel on her back. A local resident found a tape-bound cardboard box in a vacant lot in the Aki ward around 5pm with Kinoshita's body inside. The box was used for an oven and sold in Higashi. 
It was suspected that Kinoshita was lured away as she walked home and killed shortly thereafter. Her school bag was found 300 meters away on a road. Her corpse was taken back to her hometown in Yatsushiro with 300 people attending her funeral. Hiroshima Prefectural Police searched for who had purchased the oven, which was for the box in which Kinoshita's body was found, and discovered that the oven had been purchased by Yake in Higashi Hiroshima City, a city in Hiroshima Prefecture. On the 30th of November, he was arrested in Suzuka City in Mie Prefecture inside his sister's apartment. It was then discovered that Yake lived a short distance away from where Kinoshita's corpse was abandoned and that blood of Kinoshita was found in his apartment. The apartment building was subsequently demolished and turned into a parking lot. It was also realized that Yake was wanted for sexual assault in Peru. On the 4th of July 2006, the Hiroshima District Court sentenced him to life imprisonment for sexually assaulting and murdering Kinoshita. The death sentence was not imposed because her murder was not premeditated, which angered her father, Kenichi Kinoshita. Prosecutors appealed the sentence, demanding that the death sentence be imposed at the Supreme Court of Japan. The Hiroshima High Court on the 12th of August 2010 upheld his life sentence. Yake is currently incarcerated at Hiroshima Detention Center. He was never trialed for the sexual assault that he committed in Peru. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.